Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Cork in the North podcast. Before we crack on into this week's episodes, there's a couple of things we need to go through. Number one, the Dying Pub. The Dying Pub is a fan of us and we're a fan of them. They are the sponsors of this podcast. They are the people that are keeping us afloat. Do you remember in Titanic when Kate Winslet didn't let Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, onto the barge when, when the ship was going down? Well, the Dying have pulled us up. Mm -hmm. The two of us are on it now. That's what the Dying done. They've saved our asses, right? And you can go down there Wednesday to Saturday. It's open Sunday as well, but the offer that we have is 25% off your food Wednesday to Saturday using the code CORK25. It's a great place, Sean, isn't it? It's unreal. The toilets work. Uh, the lights work. The doors open. The staff are there. You walk in, you say, Cork in the North sent us. What happens, Sean? They give you 25% off. Your food, not your drink. We're not at a level yet where we can offer you money off your drink. As we know, prices of alcohol has gone through the roof, but... It, but all I said, I've said it before, take her out. Competitive, take, take, competitive cr prices. Competitive prices. Take her out. Take her out. Take her out for a meal. Treat her. Tell her, you, tell her, tell her you're a good guy. Apologise for what you did at the weekend. Then we'll take him out. Take your mother out. Take your grandmother out. Go there to meet your dad for the first time. You know what I mean? Have a christening. Have a divorce party. You can hire the room. There's lots of comedy on. Right, I had to die in. Lots of functions, lots of sporting events. You can watch rugby, you can watch soccer. Um, there's an outside area, there's there's an indoor area. It does, well, it's indoor, isn't it? Like, obviously, it's obviously public. And you can go, it's a great place. A die in pub on the Lisburn Road. Go down and go down and get your food there. Cork 25, 25% off food. Have I said it enough? Like, we're working hard for you to give you free content. Every week. Every week. And you can't even bother your ass to go down and, and use a die in. It's a disgrace, Sean. Help us out. Help us out. Secondly, I want to mention is that we are doing a live show in the Dying Pub. It is sold out. Um, myself, Shane Todd and Aaron Butler are doing our new material ahead of my tour in September across the UK and Ireland and some European dates as well. And also the Patreon, £3 a month, sign up for extra content. We may or may not be topless in them. You'll never know unless you pay the £3. The, link is, the links are below. The links are below. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to crack on with this week's episode. Now, joining me in the studio, ladies and gentlemen, are two people that are single-handedly keeping the restaurants of Northern Ireland in business. <laughs> um, two people that have moved to the North slash Northern Ireland Cross Community Podcast. Uh, to keep everyone happy here, we have... Uh, uh, have you ever heard of the Belfast Giants? I did. I live across the road from the SSE. I've never been. But I'll probably go sometime. If I can it's get free fun. To, it's, have you been? I love the Giants. You love the Giants. They're doing really well. They're turning the league. Google it today. Anyway, right, joining us is Miles and Jackie, husband and wife. How are we? Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for Thank you. Us. Very famous couple, guys. Oh, no. You're like the you're like the celeb the celeb couple of the north. You know what I mean? You're out there playing a sport that I've never seen. And I wish you all the best with it. It looks good, it looks intense. You have to go. I will, I will. I, I'm busy. Uh, when's it on? <laughs> I'm only joking. Of course I'll go. Of yeah, you got it. I'll, I'll get you tickets. So Miles, you're, you're a professional hockey player. Yeah. Wow, that's an amazing. That's an amazing achievement to be a professional sports person. You you uh, you start. You were born in Canada, grew up in America. You played a lot in the American leagues. Yeah. So I was uh, drafted into the NHL when I was 18. Is that draft? Is like an auction? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean. Where you stand in line to go, I like him now, and I like exactly. Him. Literally, you see it in the NFL, don't you? When they do all the trials and stuff. Exactly. Is, is hockey the similar? Yeah. Trial? So I did went to the NHL Combine, um, which is actually like that's a crazy experience. You, they put you in like uh, tight clothes, like cut off shirt, and you got to work out in front of them. It's like you got to work out in front of them. Yeah, yeah, and they just like people sitting in chairs while you work. That out. sounds like something that somebody's into. <laughs> yeah, it's you like, know what I mean. Like, like no, it's like the weirdest thing. What's your I've fetish? Ever had. I like uh, <laughs> hockey players in tight clothes. You know, that's, it's that's like a fetish, a, mate. It's a weird thing. It must be strange though if when you see you getting drafted because like a lot of things ride on that situation. It kind of comes down to whether somebody picks you or not, isn't it? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of pressure there. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, I would be considered, like, a bust. Like, a bust? Yeah, so, like, they picked me pretty early. Like, I was a third-round pick. So you were I went, 18. I was 18 awesome. at the time, yeah. So, was, and I went 70th overall. Um, was that good? That's good. Good. And, uh, I mean, all the players in the world, 70th in my age group. So, wow. Um, that was cool. Uh, I kind of thought I made it at that time. And uh, You saw the big Lamborghini. You saw the gold chain. Yeah, I saw everyone make <laughs> it. You saw a full money. set of teeth. You never know. I had it at the time. At the time, yeah. Time. I had it at the time. I what lost. happened? What happened to the two? Uh, I got hit with a stick in, in the mouth. She was right. at the game. I was, oh, it was bad. I oh, pulled God. it clean out. Actually, there's a funny story. I, and are you waiting to get it? 
Are you waiting to get an NHS appointment? Because if you're in the north, you're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> yeah, so you no. probably have to go private. I, that's what uh, that's what we told we were told. Yeah. But uh, I'm waiting till I'm done playing because okay, if they put another one in and it gets hit again, knocked out, uh, it can be like bad news. Oh, as in uh, like more even permanent? Yeah, damage, like, like uh, it'll like because they got to put a steel plate in. Wow. Um, so I could like basically ruin my gums. I, Are you not wearing a gum shield? I do, yeah, but it doesn't. Didn't, didn't if you help. get hit hard enough, it doesn't matter. It wow. Pops it right out. God, it's a tough, tough old sport. Sean, you've been to the Giants, haven't you? Yeah. I, I was like quite big into ice hockey when I was younger. Like, yeah. Watch, watching the Mighty Ducks movies. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. like my upbringing. I was, so I was obsessed. But ice hockey for young kids here in, in Belfast isn't really like, especially when I was growing up, wasn't um, as progressed as it is now. Yeah. So um, I remember saying to my dad, uh, he was like, do you want to play football? Do you want to play hurling? Do you want to play Gaelic? And I was like, I want to be an ice hockey player. <laughs> and he's like, where the fuck are you going to play ice hockey? <laughs> well, there's only two rinks on the whole island. Yeah. So there's the SSC and then there's Dundonald. Yeah. And that, is that where you train? We, yeah. If there's like concerts or yeah, if you're doing a comedy thing there, then we yeah. get kicked out. <laughs> you get kicked out? How do you feel kicked about that? Out, yeah, we're back. We're there, on, we're there in November, 8,000 people. Are you got with Shane Todd? Sure, I'm opening for him, yeah. Yeah, we went and uh, saw him earlier this year. He's oh, hilarious. In the Opera House. Yeah. Oh, I opened for him. You must have missed me. I did oh. 10 of the 16 shows. You probably went on a night when I wasn't on. Uh, yeah, you, it wasn't it, you. We had Kieran, Kieran Bartlett. Yeah. And it wasn't you. No, you, you missed me. I did 10. Oh, man. Oh, you missed me. Don't worry about it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tonight. You probably didn't have a great time. <laughs> yeah, it was no, horrible. It was hilarious. We were, we were just missing something. And it was, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we didn't have a fucking clue I existed until the last week. <laughs> well, it's nice. To, well, it's good to see you. And your wife, your wife, Jackie. No, Jackie, my missus, my friends are like, oh, my God, is this girl from, that goes around all the restaurants? Not only that, I know people that have lived in Belfast their whole life. <laughs> Didn't even know certain restaurants existed. So what is this thing that both of you have created? So you've come over here to play ice hockey, right? Yeah. You're doing great career. You've done really well. Really, really uh, well for yourself. And Belfast Giants are having a great time at the moment. You're third in the league? Yeah, third in the league. Yeah, third in the league. You're third yeah. in the league, right? And you're a defender. Yeah. Right, so um, so you're doing great. You're doing well. And then you've obviously come over to embrace the life as well because you obviously you're married. So I suppose, how do I, how do I put this in the right way? You kind of like if if he got picked tomorrow, he had to move to Australia. You might have to ship up and oh, you have to yeah. go and make friends and, oh, and all yeah. that. So you've gone to what are we going to do? We we, we eat. Yeah. So how did this come about? That what you've done? Go ahead. You go, well, Jackie. It come started on, Jackie. in Norway. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it did. I mean, when we moved to Norway last season, he was playing in Norway. I just kind of started sharing a daily vlog of yeah. like things about Norway and exploring, and then that just kind of continued through this season two and then there were so many restaurants here where like we got to take advantage of going to every so, single so what's the one. system you, you go once a week twice a week how does it work well it started once a week and now it's a lot more than yeah. once a week there's so many restaurants. yeah now it's yeah. 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 Well, yeah. it's good that isn't it yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah for sure hashtag influence <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is me now. I can't pay for a hotel again. I can't pay for a meal again. You'll never, you will, it's like, you know, you turn left on an airplane, you go to first class, you can't turn right anymore. When, yeah, you know what I mean? once like, you, you go, you can't The next go time back. you pay for a meal, you're going to be disgusted. <laughs> no. Well, the first time we flew overseas, actually, I, the first time I ever did, I flew with her mom and she flew us first class. And then the next time I did it on my own, I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I thought all the seats were like those ones. No. Have you had a right air flight yet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ryanair. Uh, easy Jet. Easy What's Jet. the one we was Easy Jet the one we Jet just two. Did? Jet, Jet two. Jet two was yeah. Not great. Really. So did. so Miles, obviously you're an established hockey player, and um, Jackie, what 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 did you do? What's your background? Obviously, it's not just going to restaurants and eating. No. Obviously, you're what what is it? What's your background? Um. So I'm a little older than Miles, so I graduated. How, how old are we talking? <laughs> two. A year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm nine years Not older than much. my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the time, we met in high school, so it was like a big deal that I was a great older All right. Whoa, 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 We're not going to get it. I don't want nothing ages. illegal here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Northern Ireland's going through a very sensitive issue at the moment. <laughs> Right, so like we're not, we're not going to bring that up, but, let, but it was it was all fine. It was yes, all good. All right, we don't yeah. want producer Shaw is sitting there sweating, going Jesus. Yeah. So you met in we're school. Yeah, you were two years older than him. So you were two two years. Well, 
Yeah. How I did guess... you? How did you like? How did you like date? How did you like? Did you go up to her? Did you go up to him? How did it work? Um, you want me to tell? One of my, uh, we both were vacationing in the same spot um, in Cape Cod. It's like a vacation spot in Massachusetts where we're both from. Right. And uh, my friends went up to her friends and invited them to a party that we were having. But it was actually just three of my buddies at a house, and her and her friends came. They thought they were coming to a party, and then we met there. And that was it. And that was yeah. it. Now look at you. Now you're living in Belfast. Yeah. yeah. What a love story, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> so we what give a... them credit for. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. So what did you study and what did you do? Anyway, sorry. I brought that way off track. No, no, it's good. It's good. Um, I was a teacher for about five years. So we did long distance for a little bit while I was teaching and he was playing after school. Um, and now I work in ed tech, which is like a creating resources for teachers kind of so you're still working in Remote. education are you yeah. doing that remotely like remotely online? yeah so are you still doing it in the states yeah yeah for comp so are you working exactly are you getting out of bed at weird times to deal with the time difference and stuff? <laughs> no it's nice here because all my hours are technically in the afternoon but one year we lived in utah and i was teaching oh, it was yeah, a covid was year brutal. and my classroom went remote for covid and i had to wake up at four every morning to teach but we didn't have a lot of space. Didn't we didn't have an office. And where, like, where, like when you say teach, like they were on Zoom. They were on Zoom. I had so all they're my awake. Kids. And what's they're it, awake. What's it, nine o'clock for them? Yeah, or er, eight o'clock. Yeah, it was eight o'clock. And I would sit in the closet because we didn't have an office. And we had a roommate and they all had to wow. be up for practice. So I like hid in the she corner in the, in the closet. closet and taught from the closet. <laughs> Things you do for love, eh? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're working in a... Ed tech. Ed tech. And you're doing it remotely here. That's yes. pretty cool. So yeah. you're still able to keep your career going. Exactly. While, you're, while uh, your husband Miles is doing the Yes. Thing. So when you got the, you went to Norway, and you, did you play there for one year, is it? Just one year, yeah. Do you, one thing I kind of, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here about hockey, but do you move around a lot? Yeah, especially at like uh, my level. Like uh, some of the guys have long-term deals in like other leagues. Right. Um, but when you're kind of like a fringe, <laughs> like... I don't I don't know how to put it, but like squad player. Yeah, like minors. Yeah, minors. But it's like you're always trying to make the next step, trying to move on. Right. So it's a great career though. Yeah, no. It's a great life. Oh, it's to be super a professional cool. sports person, something you you've already won. It doesn't matter like my nephew's in like a football academy down south and he's doing really well. Like really well. He's already been looked at from clubs in England. And like even if he doesn't get there, he can still have a great career. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? So it's brilliant what, that you do what, it. Uh, what club? He plays for Cork City. Okay. Soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So well, we've got football. Football here would be Gaelic football. Yeah. And then we call it soccer. And then... Oh, do you actually? Yeah. I, we would call it soccer, yeah. I would call it soccer, yeah. Like, oh. I, I know the Americans get slagged off for calling it, oh my God, let's play soccer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We actually would call it because we have Irish football. Oh, okay. Have you been to any Gaelic or any Gaelic no. sports hurling, Gaelic football? No. I tried it? hurling when I came over here in college. I played in a, it was a call, we had a college tournament here and uh, they taught us hurling and it, it's super fun. You I would it. love to, I would love to play. Do you know hurling. what you're missing a toot now? If you played hurling, you'd be missing All the rest of, of the team. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's, it looks fun. Like it's like, uh, I played baseball growing up. So, oh, you, you, so you, you'd have the coordination and the, oh, 100%. Stuff, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, Athlete. I mean, I'd be, I'd be, struggle at first, but. <laughs> oh, it takes a long time. To yeah, yeah. It's like anything, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you're in Norway. You were only on a one-year contract there? Yeah. So you know about going, like, this is just a one-year thing. Is there, oh, a, yeah. is there a way that, like, three months in, they could extend you or they could keep you? Like, are you always kind of, like, not sure what's happening? Well, it's hard because, like, if, if three months in, they want to extend you, it means that you're doing well. Yeah. So you're like, oh, well, then what's the next like, can I get a better offer? Can I get a better one somewhere, somewhere else? else? It's never more like more money or a better place. Yeah, or... you're always negotiating. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to like you don't want to stay in one place. I have an agent though who like discusses all, all that. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. you've you... had a lot of teams where they'd want you back. Yeah, like when I was there in the states, there was a bunch of times I could have signed back, and I was like, we just kind of wanted a new. We were like, adventure. let's new city. We're young. We don't have kids. Let's it's, go for it. It's so hard with you know like the Giants as well because it's you get so attached to a squad of players, but obviously everyone's in the same boat yeah. where like yeah. everyone's looking and moving on so quick. So like you have such a good season one year and you're like, ah, oh, like um, I remember when Basco moved on the first time. Yeah. It was like it was heartbreaking for everyone. <laughs> and 
so like and it, it's it's it, it's strange that with hockey because we're we're so used to like soccer and stuff yeah. here that like um, okay, like football you don't it, move you, play, right, you, you only play for one up. club like and, and whole, you, you can't yeah. transfer you, you watch know? people yeah. playing there for years so like wh- when people here are trying to get into hockey and then you you're like I love that player and then, and then they leave yeah. straight away <laughs> yeah so it's kind of like making friends all the time it's obviously being a, being, a, being, a, being a wife of a player and working your friendship circle is going to be changing as well isn't it yeah it so, is tough but... so, you're in, so you're in Norway how do you get an offer to come to Belfast how does it work um so in the summer, um, my agent just called me and said, would you be interested in going to the UK? And I said, yeah, sure, but there's only a couple teams that I would go to, um, obviously Belfast being one. Um, so he, my agent reached out to those four teams and said, you want to look at this guy? Um, and then they watched my tape and then called me. Right. And so when you found out you were coming to Belfast, you Google it. No, I was. I've been we, here. We both had been here before, which is one of the reasons why we jumped on yeah. that yeah. offer. So I'm always interested to know this. What was your thoughts, impressions about Belfast, the north of Ireland, Northern Ireland, uh, before you came here? Be honest now, like because I, I'm always interested in people who come here from an outside point of view. Like, what did you think it was going to be? Were you worried? Were you excited? Were you nervous? Were you like, oh god? Like, what was your honest feelings about it? You can go. Well, yeah, we had come here probably six years ago for the Friendship Four Miles 20, College team. Played. Yeah, 2018. 2018? Yeah. And I didn't see any of the facilities or anything aside from going to the game, so I didn't know what, like, your hockey part of it looked like. But I remember liking the downtown. The, the Well, city, where we were in Norway center. last year, we got there. We had no idea. We'd never been there, obviously. And we had to, yeah, we Googled on Google Maps, like, street view of our town, and there were, like, three restaurants, a little, like, shopping center, and then that's it. It was tiny. It, it was a beautiful place, but coming here, we're definitely spoiled. Yeah. You're a bit lonely in Norway. Uh, I it mean, just, we, have, we have each other. Yeah, yeah. It just gets a bit old, like, the same, like... <laughs> You're married. Normally, you say that stuff after, like, six months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> We have each other. It's like, well, I'm stuck with over here. We'd say, well, I'm stuck with her. So, whereas you're like, on oh, we have each other. Whereas we gotta, we we gotta rely what, on what each other. What are you yeah. looking for when you're like looking at all the offers you have on the table and you're looking at different clubs? What sort of things is like ticking your boxes? For me, it's like uh, <laughs> like two things would be money and opportunity. Like, yeah, uh, like there's a place where I maybe could have made more money, but. Even if you do well, you can't move up because the league isn't respected. Yeah. Um, so, like, I want to go to a place where I'm not going to feel like I'm stuck or, or like, I if I had a good year, that it's not for nothing, basically. Yeah. And then for Jackie has, and then I wait for her input on, like, what the city, what she's interested in doing in the yeah. city. So when you found out about Belfast, Jackie, what were your thoughts? I was excited. Yeah. Yeah. I had good memories of it when we came last time. And I think since then, the city has developed a lot, at least from what I remember and yeah. what we've been told in terms of like restaurants, um, <laughs> bars, <laughs> food. Bars. No, we're, we're not huge. Maybe you are. We're not huge like bar people. No, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a huge bar person. More food. Are right. you Are you getting recognized now because of the vlogs? <laughs> when you go out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mostly her. I take pictures of her with, with fans. Yeah. Well, people definitely see you. Tall, toothless, toothless. boy. Yeah. You can spot you a mile off. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise you kind of say to him, like, he's like, what is he, like a smick? <laughs> smick? What's that? It's like, it's like a local, what, what would you call so, a smick? Um, it's like a crackhead? Yeah. Not, not, a, crackhead. <laughs> no, not a crackhead. Like, but, you know, but like, a, a, a sm- local person that hasn't. Achieved maybe what they wanted to achieve. <laughs> yeah, a, a, delinquent, a, local a delin- delinquent. A delinquent. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Did you, Jackie, expect it to go the way it went for you when you started doing your, your reels and stuff? Be like, oh, you know, I'm just going to, we went to this restaurant. It was really nice and blah, blah, blah. Did you expect it to go the way it went um, for Not really. You know? No, it was. it's always just fun for us to share everything, like no matter how it does online because we often look back at all the videos as like a scrapbook almost. Yeah. It's like so, the old photo album now. Yeah. yeah bit, it's so much. much fun. And TikTok brings up like a year ago you were doing this so we can 
look back every night and be like, oh, we did that a year oh, ago. Oh, you talk at night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a relationship. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we didn't expect it to. We weren't expecting anything out of like sharing the restaurants or anything. What's been? It's hard to say because her first video she posted got like 500,000 views. So it was kind of like, oh, that for me, that felt standard once. First video once you, ever? Yeah, you're the one you did like a story of our life uh, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like five. The population 000. here is only 1.9 million. There you so go. potentially you've probably hit 25% of the population because <laughs> you're going to be in the algorithm of the north yeah so like when I post clips so like I'm on tour in September and I'm trying to sell a few more tickets for one or two places in England so I'll recut videos of all stand up and I'll put them onto my I'll release them again as a reel but I won't put them on my feed uh-huh. so you, they won't be on my page yeah. okay they'll just go in but I'll change all the locations uh-huh. so they will go in then to that so if I'm trying to sell a show in Liverpool in England I'll really say six videos. I'll schedule them. And they will go location, Liverpool, hashtags are all Liverpool. So we'll mm-hmm. go into that rhythm. Mm-hmm. Whereas if I just release one here, a location, bad it'll fast, it goes yeah. into the Northern yeah. Ireland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of spear. Now, obviously, it crosses over. Yeah. As you do, like, you know, but um, a more targeted stuff if you're trying to, like, like sounds like yeah, that you know you know, you know what I mean that that that's because I, I suppose I'm trying to sell tickets. Right. You know, you don't you're, want you're just telling a story of where yeah. you've been and. Yeah. You know, how you've had food. and We kind of got ourselves a little not stuck, I guess. But I started posting reels. And now it's like 95% of my followers on Instagram are from Ooh. Northern Ireland or yeah. like Belfast specific. So it's like if I if we move from here, I don't know who's going like to stick around. If you went, ice, if you went to play hockey in Paris now, they'll all unfollow you. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. They were like, she's fucking dead on me now. Eh? <laughs> yeah. They would, <laughs> she's, they see him, see him, I'll fucking knock his other two down. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the comments are all like, you're one of us now, you can't leave. Yeah, oh yeah, like yeah. you'd be heartbroken. Yeah. I've been here, I was in London 16 years, England 16 years. And then I came here um, in COVID. And I'm from Cork, like, so I'm four hours down the road in mm-hmm. the car. And I thought I would hate it. Because growing up in Cork, you know, I would have been, I'm very aware of the news and the history of the place. Yeah. And thankfully, uh, you know, what I thought this place was going to be actually wasn't. Because I, one of the things that are keeping me here, and it ain't the weather. <laughs> it ain't the weather. It ain't the weather. Right, it's the people. I genuinely believe they are the best, the best crack, the people here. People have been amazing. They are yeah. so much resilience. I mean, so much fun. Such great laugh and kind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You find that? Oh, yeah. Very, I don't want to say unserious, but people are just like so easygoing and like Mm. jokes all the time. And like if you run into someone on the street or something, you're not going to get cursed at or like, I mean, maybe, I don't know. But (laughs) people have been really nice. Yeah, people have been awesome to us, like uh, recommendations for stuff. A lot of the stuff that we do, obviously, we don't know what the best stuff. It's from people just telling us like, you got to try this place. And if multiple yeah. people say you got to try this place, then we try it. When you guys go into restaurants, do they shit themselves as staff? Because <laughs> they're Actually, like, oh, Jackie's in. That's one of my <laughs> Jackie's least in. Jackie favorite. Wines are in. I, yes, good I service. Hate good that. service. <laughs> no. I mean, good service is always good, but I hate when we go into a place and you can tell they're doing like different stuff. Because for you. us, it's like yeah. I just want to know what you would That's do for I everyone. Feel most <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's in. So do you, do you feel you get treated like oh they give sus me because you're like yeah or the they'll, phone and they'll you know, bring out like special plates randomly in the middle of the meal. It's like I didn't order that and I don't want that. Or is that something you're giving to everyone? Because then if I go vlog about it and be like, this place is great. They give you a in-between course, like palate cleanser. And people yeah. are like, they didn't Next do, that do that for that, us. Next time turn around and go, you don't have a bag of Coke, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and if you go, no, you go, one star. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Can I just say, no restaurant in Belfast or North is to give these, these two people bags of Coke. <laughs> All right, they're recovering. Don't they're listen to him. <laughs> right. <laughs> But uh, you're a golfer, Miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Handicap. Six. Six nice. point six point four at the oh. moment. So are you shooting in the seventies regularly? Yeah, pretty. pretty what are you driving often. off the tee? Oh, what did you say? What are you, what are you, what are you driving off the tee? What's your average distance? Uh, a big hitter, I'd say. Yeah, Agile. I, I hit it like. You do yoga? 
No, no yoga. Pilates? I actually find the tighter you are, the further you can hit it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, I, that's, that's a, a strange sentence. It's a made up. Yeah, it's a made up. Fact. I tried that on me, Julie, later on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this has got completely fucking <laughs> AWOL. This is not the podcast. I was going down this route, Miles. So, Miles, uh, so you, I, I drive the ball about 255, 260, but I'm straight, mate. My into out, my angle of attack, my club face is square at impact. I, I got some I got some pretty good numbers off the tee. Yeah. I uh I hit it like probably on average probably 315, 320. Yeah, but can you can you putt though? Uh I'm a good wedge player, not a good putter. So you can't, no. Bad putter. Drive for sure, putt for dough. <laughs> yeah, but my wedges make my putting better because I, yeah. I put my wedges in close. Um good stuff, man. We'll we'll play. We'll sort something out if you wanna. I, 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 I definitely you want to. Take you out. We'll go to a restaurant. We'll have to pay. <laughs> but we'll go. <laughs> Jackie, can I can, I can Jackie. look you up. Yeah, just Jackie, bring do a video me. home. So Miles is uh, away today. Oh my God, I'm feeling vulnerable. I'm feeling so vulnerable. But we have each other. What are you talking about? We have each other. We have well, each other. Have each so other have your family, how your family, have your families been over? Have they been to visit? What are their thoughts on, on, on the north? Jackie? Yeah, all, all of our family. Well, yeah, pretty much every. A lot of our family and friends have come to visit. And they come on your plane and stuff it. like that to kind of see everything. Yeah, I was injured most of the year, so... Uh, she just signed. <laughs> yeah, I signed and then uh, got hurt, like, right away. I broke my scapula on my shoulder, and then uh, and then I tore my LCL on my knee. Do you know, if you were playing Gaelic football now, you'd be playing the following day. <laughs> They'd be like, you broke, your, you broke your knee. You did. Well, y- y- if, you're, if, you're, if you're upright, you can still do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, 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 how long were you out for? Uh, I was out for... Two months with my shoulder and then three, three months. months with my knee. And how was that then moving to a new city and you're working at home and then your partner is out injured and he's probably at home a lot more? Uh, uh, how how no. was that for you? He was actually gone more, I think, because he still has to go to, well, he still goes to practices, training like all morning. And then he would have to go to rehab. Yeah, doctor's appointments. Doctor's appointments and stuff for in the, the afternoon. For yeah, the for coke, the coke rehab. rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but he was around on the weekends when the team would be like away. So for if they're over in Sheffield or Nottingham, or then something. he'd yeah, stay. You, you don't travel, basically. Then no. I'm home. I'm, but you'd go I'm to home in. games, but sleeping in. Are you watching the games then on a dodgy box or something? Or a dodgy box? <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it on the uh, dodgy TV. box. Yeah, on the dodgy, <laughs> on the dodgy, dodgy box. box. <laughs> you want a dodgy box? <laughs> no. No, but dodgy means like sketchy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't. I. I can. I honestly say, I, I feel you should pay a guy eighty pound a month to watch Premier League football. Uh, but you can. People thing. are. People are. It's rife now. Like people are getting these Amazon things and uh, chipped, like the fire sticks, and they're chipped to allow you into the secret cave. Yeah. Where you can yeah. watch any sport in the world. Nasty stuff. For, it's nasty. It's terrible. <laughs> PM terrible. If you want. Like multi billionaires. Billionaire Murdoch is he's a bill, multi multi billionaire and he's losing loads of money. Isn't that such a shame? <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> That's awful. How how that ninety six year old man can sleep at night, knowing that John from West Belfast is dodging forty quid a month out of him. We've been getting letters in the mail about this that the so police pre- are going to come. Previous tenants. No, I think it's well. I think current. it's a scam. <laughs> current. Current. Hold a, a second. What are you, what? Are, what's the mail? It says like the police are gonna come to your house and Check look at your TV box. TV box TV, or that's something. TV license. Oh, is that TV license. Are they gonna Sean? come? Because we've been oh. waiting. And they're oh, not. Coming. Are you like waiting? Like, have you got tea and biscuits ready? I'm yeah, looking yeah, like out the window. <laughs> and he's on the doorbell. Right? Is it, does it say TV licensing on the letter? Yes, yeah, TV license. That's TV oh, licensing. Yeah, so have, you, have you got a TV? Yeah. yeah but have, do you pay cable. for the license? We don't watch. TV. We don't watch. Uh, like we, we, we just don't watch. That's the right answer. We just watch Netflix. That's, that's the right answer. Well, no, that's the wrong answer. That's just, the wrong answer. Just say you don't have a TV. We don't, you don't have a TV. Oh, we don't even we own don't a TV. Do you know what TV is? No. No, I no. never. Exactly. No. That is such the right answer. Because <laughs> technically, if you own a TV, you, you have to pay TV, for a license. It's you have to pay for a But if you don't oh, want to no, watch it, no, we don't have a TV. Doesn't matter. If you've got it, you got it. So, we'll throw no, the we, TV yeah, part. we don't have a TV. Right. So, what's going to happen? The TV license company are going to turn up and they're going to say, Have you got a TV? And you go, Yeah, I got a TV. And then you go, I don't watch it. They go, Tough shit. Because <laughs> you own it. Because yeah. you, you have a TV. It's like wow. a dog. Yeah, but I have a dog, but I don't talk to it. You still have to have a dog <laughs> license. You know what I mean? A dog so license. So, what I suggest you guys do is we don't maybe have that speak either. to somebody in Belfast Giants, hand over your post, and they'll. They'll figure it out for you. So that's real. You should it's not. You, a should, scam. You, you should pay for your TV license. Yeah. 
Oh. I will show you all this before we leave here tonight. <laughs> he, right, so, like, Andrew is known locally as, like, the money saving expert <laughs> of Belfast. I like that. That's <laughs> great. You want to say, you, well, you had a problem. DM me, Bibs. <laughs> Have you been delayed more than three hours on a flight? Andrew will You're get you called. Oh, you should make your own 24. TikTok. I, hey, it's in process. <laughs> See, I'm on TikTok. I've only... My Instagram, TikTok, I, 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 I'm getting better. I've about sixty thousand on TikTok, about sixty thousand on Insta, and then twenty odd thousand on Facebook. I don't do Twitter because I think it's a cesspit of society. I Twitter deleted, is. I, I deleted it. You this mean year. X or whatever? It's <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It it's is. the worst. I need to do better. I need. I need to bump my numbers up a little bit. But uh, I, I, it's a job. It's a fucking job. Yeah. It is. It's a full time job. Yeah. You know what I mean? If like you want to keep growing, it is for sure. And I get invited. I got invited to this thing. I like, would I go and help open a, a, a shop? And I went, no, <laughs> I'm a fucking comedian. <laughs> no. I do a radio show in the morning, six o'clock to 10 o'clock every morning. on mm -hmm. Q radio. I finished that at 10 a.m. I'm done for the day. I do comedy, I, uh, writing. I travel to England every second week. Um, you know, I have a life to live. I've, I've no kids. You know, I'm not married. And, I'm not an influencer. I'm, the, I'm a comedian that has people to follow him if they like my stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I, I don't go around going, hey guys, check out this new sponge for your face. Like, <laughs> that's that's Jackie. Yeah. No, <laughs> Jackie could do that. <laughs> yeah, that's Jackie. You know what I mean? You're you're perfect for like a dental company. Now you're like, if you were an influencer, hey, if, if there's like, a dental company, Malone Row Dental, and it just has you in front of it, going in with missing a two and coming out with a two and go. And then you just do an interview then, Miles, and you go, you know, my, I didn't have any self-esteem yeah. before I went in. Now I've come out, got two wives. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that was a joke, Jackie. All right. You actually just went, no. <laughs> um, how long are you staying for now? What's the plan? What's the deal you're on at the moment? Uh, it ends in uh, June. Right. So do you oh. know where you are? Do you know what's happening? No. No, well, our season my, ends in my, like three weeks. Yeah, our season ends in three weeks, so that that's technically the end of the contract. But my visa is till June. Okay, um, so you guys like were? Have you had any indications to what's happening? Have you had any word from Belfast Giants? Have you had any offers? Obviously, you may not want to say that now, but like, are you like you could be without a club come June and still living in a flat in Belfast? Could that's that be usually a how. That's yeah. how it is every summer. Yeah, but usually you we move home. A... Usually we move home in the summer. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, we you, have our apartment here, so. Right, you've at least on that for a while. Yes, so. Would you like to stay? I would love to. Okay. I mean, if they, if they What's want What's the manager? Me. What's the coach called of Belfast Giants? Adam Keefe. Adam Keefe. This is a direct <laughs> message. A direct message from Cork in the North podcast. There's a man here, Miles. <laughs> Give the man a contract. This His wife is helping the economy. <laughs> he, he, he goes to Dundonald. I don't know where they got the funding for that place, but he goes to Dundonald and he and he does the ice rink. Give him another year. Give him another year. Right? And if you don't, sleep with one eye open, pal. <laughs> no, don't say that. Producer Sean. Producer Sean knows people, don't you, Sean? Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, so does he. he sort of, mate. He's he's uh he's a pretty tough guy. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I apologize for what just happened. I I regret my actions. I want to send love to me from me from my love to your to your family, and I hope if I don't see you, have a great Christmas. Thank you. That's better. Hey, not only have I got your new contract, but I've resolved tensions. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I've resolved tensions. You saw the troubles. Have you guys? I watched a video of you guys recently. You went to Drumore. Is it Drumore? You, you've started to expand outside, mm -hmm. right? Have you been down south? No. No. You haven't been to Dublin? The furthest, oh, we flew into Dublin. We spent time in Dublin like six years ago. Yeah, when, when we came the first time. A couple time. days. But we haven't, and the reason why is because we have an electric car and we can't get far enough. <laughs> yeah. We can't get far enough. Or we could take the train, but we don't have enough time. Do you know you know the train is, is longer than the car? Yeah, we've, yeah. 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 Would you not just hire a diesel car? I guess weekend. we could. We, we could. don't have a weekend though. There's just enough stuff here though. Keep in plays. Belfast. Yeah, but down south, like I'm from down south now, like we want to get. Like, we definitely. You think it get is there. different enough? Like to it's go? very different, Sean. It's, it's very the, different. It's it has a functioning government, <laughs> right? Uh, it's got different roads. 
It's the, it, we're, we're in the metric system. So right, we're kilometers, in kilometers per hour. It's okay. far more expensive. It's much more expensive. Oh, you're really selling um, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Metrics, metric system, um, a lot more expensive. Um, yeah, but the coast and stuff like that is lovely. Like if you go over to Donegal, have you been to Donegal yet? No, we haven't Pastary, done any. London, of cliffs of Cliffs of Moher. Moher. Ah, you Moher? Can, you can, Moher. Moher. Um, you can down the west coast down to, what's it called? Um, Giant's Causeway. Into oh, Galway, listen. down to Clare, down to down to Kerry, down to West Virginia, Kerry. Causeway. Is that not the North Coast? Yeah. Ah, it's one of them, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all, just somewhere. It's just all that, isn't it? We've done <laughs> we've done our fair share of North Coast. We've driven straight up north and followed like the whole East Coast around. Yeah. Um we did New Newcastle South. Newcastle isn't it? but that's not that's well, not it's just it's south, still in the north. south of Belfast. Uh, south yeah. Newcastle Belfast. County Down. Yeah. That's yeah. where Royal County Down Golf Course is. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I love that place. Do you? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, you don't like it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the style, all right. So we'll, we'll, we'll just keep going with it. We're doing great. I know some of you are like, what the fuck is this guy about? No, I love it. I love it. Anyway. Um, how are you finding out, how are you getting on with uh, the other partners of the ice hockey players? Are you a lovely little community? You've got a WhatsApp group. What's the WhatsApp group called? Oh, yeah. There, like, is there like a WhatsApp? Is it, what's what, it what's called? It? Is it the WAGs? It's called, <laughs> I think it's just called the Giants Girls. Giants Girls. Giant Gals. Giant Gals, right. So are you all meeting up, all emoji. this kind of stuff? Like, can, like, can I ask you a question, Miles? Do you have another player in your position that you're in comp- competition with? Uh, yeah. Okay. Everyone. So does does that person's partner Everyone. hang out with you, and you like you like bitchy and scatty? Like, oh, but I mean, I get along with the person. Like, even if they if he was beating me out for a spot, or I, everyone on our team, we have a really good group of guys. Like, yeah, really, we all socialize together. Yeah, yeah. The the if you're out like downtown, you'll see us out a lot of the, a lot of the night. <laughs> yeah. And then the girls all get all go all click and get on because my girlfriend works with one of your friends. Molly, Molly's yeah. one of my yeah. Friends. My girlfriend. I said to my girlfriend, she was like, "Who's going on your podcast?" I explained. She was like, "I follow her." And then uh, Sean's wife follows you as well. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Uh, I don't follow you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I will laugh to this. Okay. I will laugh. After this. <laughs> not, 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 not like in real life. <laughs> yeah. Like I got on you. social media. I got like, you. I'm not gonna like be outside your flat to like going. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know our, what I mean? It's not. It's not. Can I charge your car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can do that if no. you want. Um, so you're here. Your contract is up in June. You've you you seem to have made a nice impact here. You seem to have fallen in love with the city. Yeah. You have, yeah. Yeah. And um, if you were to stay for another year, you'd be delighted, would you? Yeah, definitely. 100%, yeah. Yeah. What's been your top three, Jackie, of like of places that you visited? Ooh, Kinbane Castle is my favorite. Top favorite. I bring everyone there. Have you been? Which Kin Kinbane? Kinbane Castle. It's, Is it a hotel? No, it's a Restaurant. like castle ruins. Not food. Were you talking food? No, in general. Well, in, in general. general. We'll, we'll do a food. Are, are, we'll do talking, a food. are you talking places in the world? Or no, in the in north. north. In, in the north. In, yeah, Kinbane Castle. Yeah. It's um kind of near it's on the north coast. Yeah. It's um, near Dunless Castle. Mm, it's like half an hour from Dunless. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You guys know more about this place than I do. Um, you have to go. I won't. It's. <laughs> I, won't. I, won't. I, won't. I, I probably will go. <laughs> you like Bali Castle direction, that sort of way? Uh, it's up to North Coast. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, Dunless just... Castle. It's, it's up by, uh, yeah, it's near a golf course. It's near Castle Rock. Is it near Castle Rock Golf Course? Yes. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and then if you follow the coast, like east, you'll hit Kinbane. Right, you love it up there. I, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite place. Okay, so where else? Where else okay, like? Kinbane. Is number one. I like the rope bridge. Rope bridge. Karikarid. Karikarid. Yeah. yeah, that one's super cool. Um, these are all like castley things. Oh, white. You rocks. like your runes. White rocks yeah. beach. Runes are cool. White rocks beach. White wonderful. rocks beach. Is... I think ro- white rocks beach on a beautiful day, one of the best beaches in the world. I I would agree. Oh, the okay. water yeah. is Port like Rock golf club above up, up on top of uh, the. That's drive by one that. of the best golf courses in the world. Looking over one of the best beaches in the world, and you probably get about four days a year where it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Every we got time, one of them. Every time we've gone. Yeah, we got one nice. of them. It was it's super amazing. nice when we went. It's a yeah. stunning place. It is beautiful. And um, what's the other one? Ballantoy? Harbor? Yeah. It's pretty. You I'm haven't looking been at yet. Sean because Sean's from here and I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen Game of Thrones? No, and I refuse to watch it. I haven't seen it either, but oh, they really? filmed there. Yeah, I, I refuse to watch it. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they filmed the show. I've not seen Isn't that amazing? <laughs> You'd recognize it, I guess, if you Yeah, because people, people are coming over for the, for the, is it for the trees? 
Oh, the dark, dark hedges. hedges. They've got rid of them. No Have dark they? hedges. Like the a lot of it has been damaged in the last storm. There. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. didn't even bother doing it. Because yeah. unless it's like a moody, misty, like yeah. steamy day, it's trees. It's just trees. It's yeah. just trees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you uh, visited Carnlock? Uh, it's like up the north coast. I think. It's like a nice wee village. Uh, no, maybe. Have you been to Straban? <laughs> oh, Where's that? It's a cultural. <laughs> Should I write it down? No, it's a place. <laughs> no. No. It's where culture. Where culture was born. Straban. <laughs> Straban. They have three chippers all within walking distance of each other. And the car park is free till 10 a.m. What a place. <laughs> three chippers. Takeaways. Tree chipper. <laughs> three chippers. Yeah. I thought there was a like, person like chipping down No, trees. chippers, like takeaway chips. Yeah, I got, got it. Burgers and chips. Oh, actually. Right. Like food. Like, like oh. fish. We're talking about food here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that either. Do you know what a chipper is? Chipper. Yeah, yeah. Chippy. Now I know a, a chip shop. A chip yeah, shop. now I know what you're saying. I was thinking of tree chippers. Uh, yeah, I thought of tree like chippers. Someone like chipping out trees. Not like that, like, like chipping wood. Like no, yeah. I thought they were putting it in like uh, like one of those ones that like <laughs> no, no, it's put it in a frying pan, chops it up, a load of oil, load the show. <laughs> yes. Nice. Have you learned any Gaelic? Have you learned any Gaelic since you've been here? Irish language. Slancha. Slancha. Uh, isn't it artist now, isn't it? No. That's us now, that's English. That's English. Oh, that's English? <laughs> yeah, that's, that, right. that's us now. That's just like. the accent. Yeah. Oh, it is just the accent. Talk yeah. to me a little bit about Massachusetts, where you're from. Now, are you guys, uh, excuse my ignorance here now, I've only been to America once. I've been to New York, really enjoyed it, incredibly expensive. Um, Where is it? Are you fly? Would you be classed as one of those flyover states? No. No, it's my East Coast. Don't talk about Massachusetts like that. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I, I, I you know, no, no. It's it's on the East Coast. Coast. Boston. Oh, is it above Boston? Boston, 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 Boston. Is yeah, it is Boston. Boston. Yeah. yeah. Just say fucking Boston. Then. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, Boston. That would be like calling this whole place Dublin. I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, Belfast. Oh. Calling it Belfast. All right. So you're <laughs> Boston. You're above New York. Uh, East. What's the four hour drive? It's like east? a yeah four hour drive east yeah. northeast. So if New York is here, you're kind of like yeah yeah a little more east. So you can it's a four hour drive. That's about, that's the same for me when I go home to Cork, right? So it's Boston, Massachusetts, but you're from Massachusetts. You're not from Boston. We're not from Boston. Yeah. yeah. So how big is Massachusetts? Then? Um, to get across Massachusetts is what like three hours yeah. from east to west, three hours north to south. Probably about two sure. hours. Yeah. And it's then a, corner it's, to corner. It's literally a country here. Oh, yeah. Like yeah a state here is a country. Right. Yeah. Basically yeah. like. Yeah. It's, it's, the US it's, is huge. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. To have, yeah, one you know, government. And who, who, who would you have, uh, which hockey team would you have supported growing up then? Uh, I you? was born in Toronto, so I was a Maple Leafs Maple fan. Leafs, Toronto right? Maple Leafs, yeah. Yeah. So you are born in Canada? Yeah, born in Canada. So have you got two passports? I do, yeah, yeah. Wow. So which one do you just... I, I use my American one. Yeah. My US one. Yeah. yeah. But you've used your Canadian one for import uh, status. When I, the US. yeah, when I was playing in, I was playing in American League, but on a Canadian team. Um, so that was normally you'd have to apply for a visa or whatever, but yeah. I don't have to. Cause, oh, yeah. Who did you get drafted for? And they said, uh, Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa's? Yeah. yeah. And then you're in Toronto's organization. And then, and then I got traded to Toronto and then I got, uh, then I signed in Colorado. So, so what was that like, like, you know, plan for, your boyhood team then that was cool it didn't last very long because uh covid shut us down yeah uh the year i was signed with them so uh i, I wish it would have lasted longer yeah. it was but even to put on the jersey like yeah it was cool i was in the minor league so it was not actually the but i was yeah. but i felt like i was part of the yeah part of the team. Cool. using the facilities and yeah stuff i felt and, like, like i was being part of the team like, do, you, cool. do you jackie do you get worried watching them do you get nervous yeah so oh, how yeah. does it feel watching? Because you know hockey, I, I know obviously from what I've seen of it, and uh, you know it, it's quite dangerous. You know you're on ice, there's blades, there's a bit of fighting, a bit of argy bargy. You know you've lost your tooth and stuff like that. Like, I mean, I know somebody whose husband is a rugby player and would have played in the rugby world cup and stuff like that. Like, and I'm like, she said the only thing is once they get through the game, fine. Kind of the result, once they're physically fine. How are you finding it watching them? Yeah. It's tough, especially this year. There's a pretty big tragedy in Nottingham. Yeah. The, yeah. So uh, watching after that, it's been like, I don't really care if they win or lose, or I don't care really about anything as long as you get off the ice. But that must have hit the the ice hockey community really, really hard. Yeah, that was tough. That was uh, going back to playing after that was was hard. You felt like uh, 
we all wear like neck protection mm. now, which we weren't before. Um, first and, time back on the ice. Is such. that not just not just in the British league, but has right, that the whole world. has the whole world sort of changed from? Yeah, that? yeah, like pretty much everywhere now wears them because I mean, it once literally the first time I was back on the ice. I didn't wear it because we didn't have them in yet because we yeah. didn't order them. Um, I just was like, oh, my gosh. this like There's a ton of space here. Like I felt like I was like. And that must fe- be crazy because you've played your whole life. Played my whole life. Never thought about it once. Yeah. Uh, mm. I've did, thought about did it. Did you play against Adam Johnson? Never did, no. no did I you know didn't. of him? And obviously, yeah. like, yeah. you know, because obviously Nottingham's in the same. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we hadn't played Nottingham yet. That was before we got a chance to play them. Um but I have friends who are friends with him and um, definitely hit us close to home. Hit everyone. Have you played Nottingham since? Uh, yeah, a couple times. What's the atmosphere been like? It goes it goes back to normal. Um, yeah. I'm sure for those guys too, they want it to be like they're trying to put it behind, mm. not behind them, but like if you're thinking about that while you're playing, you're obviously not. Yeah. I feel really bad for those guys too because um, they're in last place and – they shouldn't be because they're a good team. So I think it must have, they must have a mental block going yeah, on. Yeah, the club's, so. obviously, I imagine that the club's been devastated. Yeah, it's really. just mm-hmm. tough for all of them. Yeah. And I think, like, any person that goes and plays their sport that they love, you know, from a very, very young age and not to come home from something you're supposed to have fun yeah. with, yeah, that's a very hard thing yeah. to take, like, isn't it? For sure. So the plan is hopefully you guys get another contract. And stay in Belfast, and you can build on your own. You could probably open your own restaurant now, Jackie. <laughs> she we, can cook. We, can you oh cook, yeah. Jackie? Yeah, she's oh a yeah. really good cook. Yeah. I love to cook. Yeah. Would you not like staying just like, how many years are you away from, like, say, retirement, roughly? Like, what's the average age for a hockey player to go at? Uh, I'm probably right around it. Uh, oh, yeah. Getting close. Getting close. Okay, so say, for example, this was your final year. Let's just hypothetically. Yeah. Would you stay here for another year or would you just go? I don't think we could without a visa. So oh, we that's yeah. the only reason we're able to that. be here. Yeah. Sean, do you know someone? <laughs> yeah, I know plenty of people. Yeah, we'll start out. Yeah, yeah. We'll start Perfect. Out. Just well, legally it. or illegal? <laughs> or legal or illegal? Like Either. illegal is 10 grand, legal is 20 grand. Either. So, we'll take the cheaper one, yeah. <laughs> but can you not get an extension purely because of your... Do you know what you do? Have a kid? We're working on we're working it. Working on it. Not if like that. you have a kid here... <laughs> not, not like that, yeah. No, but actually. if you have a kid here, you can stay. Can't you, Sean? I'm not sure. Yeah, if the child is born here, you can stay. Parents can stay. We're uh, we're going through IVF right, oh, right. now. Yeah. I've been sharing about it's not like How secret or going? anything. Is that, is that too much of a wrong question? No, it's no, a, it's so you've been trying and it hasn't kind of worked out. Yeah. yeah, and we we got a bunch of answers this year, which has been helpful. Yes, yeah, and nice. we've gone through the IVF process, which has honestly been a relief just to have like some next steps. Awesome. So you so, know what to do and where yeah. to go, what direction to head yeah. into. Yeah, so hopefully <clears throat> soon. Hopefully soon. Oh, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. It's yeah. really exciting, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like have a little mini <laughs> I know. Mini Miles or a mini, mini Jackie Walker. Yeah. And the, you know, like, have, like a Jackie Jr. walking into restaurants <laughs> going, feed me, feed me now. <laughs> I'm paying for it. I'm only two. Get me formula, we'll get bitch. Some, yeah, baby Get food. me formula, bitch. <laughs> and get me a bag of cocaine as well. <laughs> You know my mom's like on a Tuesday <laughs> while daddy's out fucking hitting people with sticks. <laughs> so, <laughs> on that bombshell. Um, so, Mel's hey, what? The best of luck with that anyway, all right? <laughs> Thank you. I hope you get pregnant, like. <laughs> what, what has been uh, some of like the best, you know, like stadiums to play around Britain as well? Um, ours is the best for sure. Yeah. Here at Sheffield are both yeah. uh, pretty cool. Nottingham's yeah. cool. Um, the rest of them are. <laughs> they're, Shit. They're, it takes a big, no, they're all right. It's a big drop down. What's the standard like here compared to Canada or America in terms of professionalism? Because you know the way, like, you got yeah. the MSL soccer league and then you yeah. got the Champions League here. You, we know it's a big yeah. gap. Like, mm-hmm. what's the standard comparing the standards? Um, it's comparable to like the minor leagues over in the US. So like uh the top teams would be run like AHL teams, like which is the second league in the US. And then the other teams probably run more like the ECHL, which is like the third league in the US. Okay. Um, which I played in both leagues. So it's it's pretty comparable. And it, most of our teammates are American and Canadian. Yeah. Uh, I think we only have five guys from the UK, five or six. Right. And if you get a contract extension now, you can stay for another year, yeah? Yeah. They pay for, they sort of visa the job. Yeah. yeah. So you're kind of hoping that maybe, hopefully, 
And then if you have a baby and the baby's born here, boom, life. <laughs> life well, is that you, how that works? Yeah, the baby, once the baby's born, it doesn't have to leave. Then we can live. You can here. get you can get residence through the child. Yeah. Would can't you, Sean? I'm not sure. I think you can. <laughs> I think you're making stuff up. No, you can. If your child is born in Ireland, that child is a is a child of Ireland. But then the child has to stay, and then we'd have to. Leave. No, you can. You and they'll can, become you can an orphan. Status her, her uh, she can get citizenship or can you? A, Irish uh, passport. passport. It's like my great grandparents. No, so my no, dad, grandparents. Well, it's my great grandparents. You can't get it. My dad. But your would have to do it. it. Yeah, if I can get it oh. off of my dad's. Oh. So your dad has to do so it. So my dad would need to do it, and then so your dad has to go first. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know if that'll happen. Amel, would you consider coaching? I would. I would yeah. for sure. I uh, I did a little bit of it. I've had injury problems my whole career, um, mm-hmm. so I had a year where I broke my leg, and uh, I co- I helped coach that year, and. It was pretty fun. I I enjoyed that side of it. It's actually way less stressful. Yeah. And what what's Adam like as a coach? He's good. He's tough, but he's really fair. So, uh, like, if you're doing well, he's he's like really really like any coach, isn't he? Yeah, he's good. He's like a, he. He's way better than a lot of he's, your other. Yeah, coaches. he's one of the best coaches I've ever had for sure. I've had some. He's super understanding from what I've yeah. gathered. Mm. Yeah, and, and not Miles, just because I want to. Miles is one of the best players. One of the best players that deserves it in our contract. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm not just trying to pump. You can up. totally tell from this podcast who's actually interested in hockey. It's Sean. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I don't know much about it, so I enjoy listening and learning. You know, I mean? I yeah. a few questions about it, but Sean's actively into it. Yeah, like you know, he's it's, like he it's, watches it. Like, it's you know? it's always a, like it's fun seeing. Andrew, you know, when like a rugby player's on, like, and he gets so excited. <laughs> this is the opposite Rugby's now. My, rugby is like, if I see a rugby player, I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so now I, I'm sort of like she, fan, fanboying out here. She's a soccer player. You know that? You play. Oh, yes. And you started start, start playing soccer recently. Soccer. I can call it soccer. I'm so not going to get you for? Uh, Linfield. Oh, wow. So did you play Masters. soccer like back in the States? Yeah. So what kind of standard and levels were you um, I played in college, which is very different. It's just a different process from here. I feel like girls here play up like with the same club their whole life, yeah. essentially. It's community based. Yeah. yeah. And it's which not... is not what it's like back home. So when she signed, we didn't really realize that it was so like, Yo, like, we, like, we like that it was community. Norway. Oh, oh, community. That it was, yeah. yeah, that it was like. Yeah, like if you know, if you take Gaelic football, for example, you're, say, for example, I'm born in, say, I was born in a, my village in Cork, Carrigline. I play for that. That town's club. I mm-hmm. can't go anywhere else. Yeah. You play for the town that you're born in, and you play for the county you're born. In. So I'm born in Cork. Mm-hmm. It's 32 counties in Ireland. I can't transfer from Cork to Dublin or Cork to Down or Antrim because I've been offered better money. It's all amateur. You represent the place where you're born, and tough shit. Mm-hmm. If the team, if the t- place where you're born is shit, <laughs> like <laughs> that's you know crazy. What I mean? Like there's some counties out there, like say Antrim, like Antrim, Here, who like... would be who there would be some unbelievably gifted footballers, but the county isn't great. Do you know what I mean? And they, still, and they still still play, but tough luck. That's then you could be a brilliant footballer surrounded by fourteen idiots. <laughs> That's wild to me. And you can't move. That's well, especially like the way obviously I've played. Like I've moved around so much, I'd be a huge traitor. <laughs> like, yeah. So, uh, how are you finding playing for Linfield? Has it been good? The girls' I've, team and stuff like that. Yeah, Women's team. I've been loving it. Yeah, it's, they're super welcoming. So, have you played a game yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Our first game is in two weekends. And who are you playing? Um, that's a good question. Crusaders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Crusaders. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not super familiar with all the other yeah, don't worry teams about it. and okay. stuff like, yet. But, but are you enjoying the training, the community, the girls, the group, the getting out or getting active? Yeah, they're 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 a great group, and they're all pretty young compared to me. So, feel like I don't know, like the old head. I feel like the old. Ah, you'd be all right. The old lady. Ah, that's um, good though. Probably. But they're a good group. Well, it seems like you're enjoying your time here, both of you. Yeah. And I, I like I like. Being somebody who's not from here as well, I'm a big advocate of the north. I'm a big advocate of uh, the north of Ireland, and uh, um, I'm a big fan of it. Um, and I often think it gets a bit of bad press. Uh, don't get me wrong; there's plenty of things that could be improved aesthetically. It could do with a bit of a facelift, and you know the roads could be better, and, and all mm-hmm. these types of things, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, but sure, you can say that about anywhere, really. Yeah. Like, you know, um, and it's always nice to see people that move here and actually like it because. You do hear, Sean, like a lot of, you do hear a few people, Belfast, the North, oh God, you know what I mean? And yeah, we get a bad rep. We get a bit of a bad rep, but I actually think, um, I think it's, I can understand why it gets a bad rep. 
But I also think that the people here are what really carries it forward, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And to see people come from abroad who are very welcome coming here, making a big contribution, you know, to sports and food and culture and dry. You, know, you, you probably don't realise that you've probably, you're, just on your TikTok alone would have driven a lot of people to restaurants that may not have gone to have really helped like local businesses so she'd be very happy and very proud of the, the, what you're doing there Yeah, and then Thanks. obviously yourself Miles you know um, and, and the reason that I think that people are really following along with the story and stuff it's just like it's because there's a lot of pride people take in in Belfast but they don't get to exercise that pride that mm-hmm. much yeah. because of the bad rep and stuff like that so seeing someone coming in from the States like and and saying like, yeah, I love it here. And it's it sort of, it's... It really it, makes people feel good about the place, you know, yeah. because there would have been a lot of, and we don't really talk about it, there would have been a lot of past trauma here, you know, with, with, the, with the history of, mm. of this place, you know what I mean? And it's also, it's nice to see that, you know, people are, you know, are really moved forward. And like things like going out, just going, we were here, we were there. And it's all modernization stuff. It's all about... yeah. People getting coming together and, and moving forward rather than yeah. like oh you know it's it's about celebrating things and creating yeah, new like businesses and stuff like that. You tw- know? Twenty five years ago, like the, the city center was basically off limits. The people you had to be searched going in, like you couldn't get in. You had to oh, go really? through barricades. Oh, wow. You had to be searched going in, like yeah. So and it was like basically a war zone, you know. So like mm-hmm. the fact now that it's metropolitan, like people can go out, people can have a good time. Oh, people are know? wanting to live here. People are yeah. wanting to physically it's, live here. Mm-hmm. It's um it's great, and I think it gives a lot of people a lot of. Yeah, optimism. Yeah, yeah. that's why and I think that's why my like my girlfriend said to me like, "Oh, I followed him." Yeah, and I because I I found out stuff about the north that I didn't even know herself. Do you know what I mean? So like you know, you're the fact that you guys are actually embracing the the culture up here and actually going for it, and while you're here and while you've got time off, you want to go and find places and mm-hmm. you know little castles and ruins, or whatever mm-hmm. you're into. There's actually like I've not been to any of them, so I'd probably go. Yeah. So you're actually doing a lot more. You may not you may not think about it at the time. You may not physically see it when you look at your phone, but actually it does, uh, you do connect with a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, it, we've lived like all over the world. I mean, we lived in Norway, been to Barcelona, Paris. Like this is literally probably one of my favorite cities in the Great. world. It's, it's like, it, it just feels like home. The, the people. Yeah. Like it, it's like a comfortable place to be, I find. Good stuff. Well, and I'm there's glad. a lot of different, the foods are all really different too. Like there's so much different culture of, yeah. I don't know. We've eaten that Asian tapa, Spanish tapa. Like, there's different. <laughs> yeah, the Northern Irish or the Belfast way of Chinese food is very different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it is. The it's Chinese food is definitely different. Yeah, we haven't found a Chinese place yet. To good, because I haven't found a one that's good yet. I haven't found one that's good yet. <laughs> it's yeah. very it's different terrible than up here. Let me let me to. tell you, elements and Andy Town. Elements. Yeah. Elements and Andy Town. There's one man who knows it's Chinese. Show. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, really? I need all your your. Yeah, because Chinese food is the one. I think it's the one food we were like. We've had good Indian. We've had good Thai food. Um, Italian. Italian, There's... sushi. Have you had Irish stew yet? No. Have you had a stew? No. We've had a roast, Sean. but no stew. Have you had a stew, though? No, not oh, a stew. Oh, you need to get a stew. Make it or get one. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you where to get a stew. My, my, my ma will make you one. <laughs> Just go for Sean's house, ma. <laughs> yeah. Sean's Perfect. ma will be up there like... <laughs> you know I'll give I mean? her a good review. You know what I mean? She'll, she'll give you the cocaine as well. <laughs> Uh, but listen, as a person from Cork, when I hear people talk about how much they like Belfast, even though I'm not from here, I actually get really happy as well because it makes me feel like I, you know, I made the right choice as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> so listen, Miles, uh, thank you so much uh, for coming in. Jackie, thank you so much for coming in. Do you want to just plug your socials there for us? You know, your butcher, you just plug my Jackie. What's your handle on TikTok and Instagram? Um, TikTok is jgendron10, and Instagram is jgendron5. And Miles. And I'm uh, M Gender on 10. Okay, so we'll put the links at the bottom here of the YouTube. We'll also put it up on Spotify as well. Uh, Cork in the North, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to everyone that joined us. It was great to meet uh, Jackie and Miles. And if you do go to uh, the Giants as well, make sure that uh, you keep going and support them. And also, please do go and support some of the restaurants as well um, that Jackie goes to as well. Some great places that she's been checking out, and we've all been learning loads. This is Cork the North for this week. Now, listen, sign up to the Patreon. There hasn't been a child washed for two weeks. So sign up and the child will get washed. I don't have any kids. I just like saying that. <laughs> don't forget to die in pub. 25% off uh, your food Wednesday to Saturday using the code CORK25. We really do appreciate oh, yeah. it. You should go to the die in. Go to the die in pub. Die in. Lovely Sunday. Lovely food. How do you Saturday. spell that? Get discount. The D-O-Y-E-N. It's comedy nights there. Great bar. Great sports. What's the discount again? 25% off your Yeah, but how do you get it? CORK25. Just walk in and go, I'm here because of CORK and the North. 
And he'd be like, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This guy comes out, then he's like, you, you looking at me? <laughs> this is a Cork Not podcast. Thanks to everyone that's been here. A big thank you to our guests. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing. And buy tickets to buy tour. Starts in September. Come on, will you? Uh, six extra shows have been added due to sellouts. And uh, just potentially announcing one of my biggest ever shows as well uh, for February. Can't do it if you're not there. Bye.